What well, about people? I've been avoiding doing this video, you know, because this whole thing triggers me. Whole thing. In that new show, Blue Lagoon, Blue Cantrell, Blue, Blue, Blue Therapy, Blue Therapy, triggers me, triggers, triggers me. So we have two couples. I am not reviewing. I'm not. I'm not going to react to it. That is long. It triggers me. I've watched the first three. I watched about ten minutes of the fourth. I can't. I cannot. I can't. Paul and Deborah trigger me, and the fact that Tioma is so calm and passive, and and what's the word, man? What's the word? I'm not even accepting. There's a next word. Um, accepting, man, triggers me even more. The fact that Jamel can't see this girl that he's with triggers me, and I, the, I'm not blaming them. I'm not blaming them. I'm not blaming it. It just triggers me when good people are getting mistreated. Okay, I'll give you a backstory for the people who ain't seen it. And I ain't, re I ain't reacting to it. So if you want to see it properly, you better go watch one, two, three, and four yourself. Then come back to this. Because I ain't doing it. And I ain't putting it in the description now. You can type it in. That's all along. Choma and Paul. Nigerian, Nigerian. They've been together for three years. They live together. Choma come in because Paul doesn't spend enough time with her. He lives the high life and is spending more money than he needs to. And he just wants a housewife and she was never that. He's bit control bit. He's controlling. He was on her Instagram one time. She was just at a party and she was dancing and he that was a problem to him. Paul, now, that's her. That's her problem. That's that's brief. That's brief, yeah. And something about not having that much. Oh no, that was that was a questionnaire on Instagram. I'm guessing they don't have sex that much because there was a questionnaire about it. Right. Boom. Paul now says, no, nah, I've got big clients. I'm that guy. I'm giving you his persona, fam, because this is Paul, yeah? I'm that guy. I get clients. I'm, I'm, in, I'm living a high life. I'm, I'm in a room full of millionaires, you know? Like, I have to be like that. Yeah, chill, ma. I'm going to be out, and there's going to be chicks winding up on my lap, and I'm drinking champagne with them. But, like, when you go out and you have fun, you can't do that because mine is for work and yours is for fun, my guy. My guy. You my guy. My guy. <laughs> okay. What else is there? Um, I want a housewife. That's what he wants. He says that when he first, when she first met him, he was a person who was working a lot. He was out and about. This is what he did. Stay with me, yeah? This is what he did. So she should keep the same energy if that is what he's continuing to do. That's okay. He wants a housewife though. And she's always been a career woman. When they met, she was a career woman. Where's the same energy keeping? This guy contradicts himself throughout the whole, the whole episodes, all four episodes. Well, three and a half, I didn't watch this, but I know he contradicts himself. All those episodes, my guy contradicts himself. He doesn't even listen, yeah, to understand. He listens to respond. He listens to, like, degrade, demean what she's saying, like, everything. And do you know what? She's not unreasonable. She's actually a good woman, you know? Bear man would want her. She's a good woman. She's a nice woman. She even wants to submit all of that. And most people know how I feel about submission already. So, she, I mean, she's a good woman. She's willing to do, go, to go bend over backwards for him. Hey, what as well? Like, he, they both work. Yeah, they both work. She don't just sit in the house. She works. She's a career woman. She was before. She was on her back chat and that. Like, she's out there. You know what I mean? That's how he met her. In fact, he met her in her DMs. And now he's mad that she's on Insta. Like, bro, is this a guilty conscience or something? Well, because you're out there anyway. I've gone past the point. Can't remember the point I was making, actually. Point is, he's a narcissist. He's, he's, he's a narcissist. He, he, he wants everything... He doesn't want any complaints. He wants you to just give. And hey, Nigerians don't come for me. But in these patriarchal cultures, a lot of a lot of men end up becoming like that because men ain't checked in these patriarchal societies. You get what I mean? They ain't checked. Like everything is man of the house, man of the this, man of the that. There isn't any balance given. And that's why certain of them who have a certain mindset don't know how to balance themselves out and then they become these narcissistic brothers who think they're entitled to everything when you met Shoma, she was doing what she was doing she don't need to stop that now because she's with you and you say keep the same energy so if you was going along with your own advice keep the same energy in it and be with a career woman now he wants her to cook the meals clean the house do all the all the washing and work get a mate 
Seeing as you're, you got all these clients and you're, you're getting all this money, get made. Because she's working. How's she going to do all of them? Your dad, yeah, your, you, you, I'm guessing you're coming from a certain place. So your mum and your dad were in the household. He was take, bringing in the bacon. Was your mum working? And if she was, did your dad do stuff? He did, didn't it? There's balance. There's balance, my guy. And you're not balanced. And Choma, you need to leave. I hope you see this. I hope. I hope my channel grows and you see this because you need to leave. Forget that. He ain't changing. He ain't even listening to the words that is coming out of your mouth. He's feisty. He ain't got no manners. I don't know why he's taking sit on Deb. Not Deborah. Marcia. Where do you want my name? Um, the therapist. What's your name? I don't know. Let's call her Marcia. I don't know why she, he texts it on Marcy. He's just ain't got no manners. He needs to be checked. No manners. Man just feel like he can do what he wants, say what he wants and whatever, and everything's going to be jigger and everyone should just follow follow, follow suit and, and pattern behind him. That's what he wants from Joma. He just wants, yes, sir, no, sir, and no complaints. If she's not getting what she needs or what she deserves, then there's that, that's it. And then he wants to say, what you bring in? What do you bring? Leave. I don't even think I need to say anymore. Leave. Leave. Jamil and Deborah. Deborah. Fix up, fam. Fix up. Fix up. I hope you find a, a man like Paul. And I hope Paul finds a man like you, a woman like you. Because you two deserve each other. You are toxic. Just like Paul. Toxic. Narcissistic. You think everything everything revolves around you. Man's... Alright, I'll give you a backstory on Jamil and Deborah, right? Jamil come. He's the one who, who did therapy before. He thinks it's a good idea. By the way, big up to black people doing therapy, man. Big things, man, car. We need to delve into our mind. All these things that are taboo is foolish, yeah? Cool. So he's there... And he come there because he knows they have problems. He wants to sort it out. She just want gifts. I'm just going to get straight into it. All she wants is gifts. All she wants is things. All she wants is what my father gave me. My guy, your father didn't even give you half of these things. Don't lie, fam. Don't lie, man. Stop lying. If you grew up in London, that wasn't the case. Stop lying, man. Your dad got, got you what you could, innit? And you saw him working. And you saw him providing. Your mum, I'm sure your mum wouldn't sit there while he's trying to save up for a house. Be asking for Gucci bag and Prada cap and whatever idiot thing you're asking for. Can you live in your bag? Can you live in your Prada hat? Can you live in Greece? Are you dumb? Can you live on your holiday? Let the man save up for the house. If you can't see him every two seconds, it's because you two are mashing working at your building. You're too young. Jamil, leave her. <clears throat> She's too young for this. She don't get it. Right now it's high life. Let's go out. Let's go take pictures, take nails. Ha, fake nails. Ha, ha. That's all she cares about. She ain't caring about building nothing. Jamil's getting big now. He's three years away from 30. Man's trying to think about his life, isn't he? She ain't thinking about life. Jamil, cause she trying to turn you into a simp, and Deb and 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 Paul trying to turn your mind to pick me, for real. Just trying to turn you two into these little cowering things, so that they can overdo you, over over, just overthrow you, like just 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 do what they want. Just be able to be spoiled to get their own way in every single situation, and to do that, they have to break you down, break you down, break you down. And cause you love them, and you have affection for them, they have compassion. You stay there, and you try to work for it, bro. Jamil. Choma, leave, leave. It's not worth it. In fact, you two should get together, Choma, and and Jamil. Give me a hook up. Give me a little hook up. Yeah, and Miss Miss Deborah, seeing as you like gifts, my guys over there love to brag about how much money he has and how much he mashes works. So go get gifts from him. You will, both of you will soon find out what you lost, fam. Because you see, Paul, you're not going to find a woman that's gonna who's, who's going to bend over backward like that for you, man. Let's be honest, man. You're not going to find a woman like that. You need to start treating her like you appreciate her and, and you'll keep her. Treating her like she's a human being. Treating her like she's your equal. No, you two are not... You, you're not equally able because a man can't give birth for instance yeah but you're equal you're of equal worth in the relationship and both of you should be seen as that job car you feel like you're the man in the house don't make her any less it's not a hierarchy bro it's a state of order that's it it's not hierarchy at what point because you're all christian at what point in the bible did it say that adam was higher than eve never 
Never. It doesn't say that. Anyway, I'm never going to get into the Bible. Chama, leave. Paul, shut the fuck up and sit down. Deborah, shut the fuck up and sit down. Jamil, leave. That's what I'm going to say. I ain't even getting into it too tough. Car, it irked my nerves. When I told you I was watching that, like, bruh. Did this brother just say that? Oh, bruh. Did this chick just say she wanted a bag instead of a house? Are you not dumb? Man's working. He's doing... Jamil's doing work in, in, Ghana, in Ghana, you know? Man's doing work abroad. He's doing work in Ghana. He's a visionary, fam. You used to can build something. But no, nah, all you can see is right here in front of your face. You go, right here. You can't see nothing else. You can't see further down the line. A man's on... He's getting older, as I said. Three years away from 30. Probably wants to settle down, get married and all that. Oh, last thing. He don't want you to meet his family. I wonder why. You're just one of them chicks, man. You're just there, like... You're just there, fam. I can tell what kind of chick you are already. I wouldn't be able to flex it to you, my brethren. Next one. The sister of, of Paul. I believe it. I believe it. I believe her when she says the sister don't like her. I believe it. And second of all, Chioma is not a babysitter. When Chioma should be, could also be going out and enjoying herself, she has to be looking after children. Yes, it is okay to look after family members' children, but not when it becomes a thing where you're taking advantage of the girl because you know she has to be there, because she knows you're, she's with your brother, because she knows anytime she opens her mouth to you, her brother will defend you and you two will gang up against her. It's not fair. It's not fair, fam. You lot are messed up. People out here are messed up. <clears throat> so I struggle so much. I don't know if I'm. I don't know, brother. I, I don't know, you know. Like, being single is too bad. It's not too bad. When I look at people like you, I'm like, ah. You know? Don't know, you know? Don't know about that, mate. Yeah. But yeah. um, Yeah, the sister don't like you. I believe it. I believe it. Again, Nigerians don't come for me. But we know how it is when it comes to the boy children in the family because we put too much, you put too much emphasis on boy picnic. Boy, 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 boy. Now everything will revolve around the boy. Now even the sister feel like she, she can marry our, 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 our brother. No, not not literally. Don't be dumb, one of them dumb people. Oh, no, they didn't. She never said that. No, no, don't say it. Not literally. But when you have them people who's who, where you have your the mum who's just overprotective of the son. When you have them people where the mum is just overprotective of the son, yeah, or um, the sister's just overprotective of the of her, of her brother, or it's like, can you marry him? No. So what are you guys doing, fam? Your his wife can never take him away from you because your relationship is different. A sister and a wife, a mother and a wife, a child and a wife. There is different. Can you can you sleep with him? There's different. It's a different dynamic. So you should never feel threatened when a woman is coming into the. Hey, bro, that's what you've got to do. Like I ain't even involved like that. All I'm gonna say is, Chioma, you do you can do better. You're beautiful. You're lovely. You're just you're a nice girl. You're a nice woman. So I don't like calling big women girls. It's a habit that we have. We infantilize women. You're a nice woman. You are lovely. From what I can see, you are lovely. Leave. I know it's hard. I know you've been with him for long. I know you got your hopes up. I know your family knows him. I know, like, the culture and that, like, you you know, you've been living with him. But, hey, man, take it with a pinch of freaking salt. Take it on the cheek, mate, and get, get going. And you, Jamil, you've only been with her for a year. You ain't invested and your family don't know her. Skidaddle. Skidaddle, my guy. You don't need that. Talking about she has OnlyFans account. She just made it. I just made that OnlyFans account. I'm not using it. Fam, shut up. Get out of here. You mad. Bruv. <laughs> my girl made an OnlyFans account. You fixing to be single. Anyway, see you guys, man.